Boop. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, October the 7th, 2021. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 22, 1 through 15, Job 17, 1 through 16, Hebrews 3, 7 through 19, or you could have read Psalm 90, 12 through 17, Deuteronomy 5, 1 through 21, Hebrews 3, 7 through 19, again, to end out the complimentary readings. I'm going to take a look at Deuteronomy from the complimentary readings today and ask the question, why the Ten Commandments? Why the Ten Commandments? Um, uh, and it's not that I'm asking, like, why just ten? Because there's there's ten commandments, but, like, the book of the law is much, much bigger than that. Um, the Ten Commandments, we often kind of take them as, like, the end-all and the be-all of legality, right? We, we, you know, that's there's people fighting over whether or not it should be in public courthouses, uh, things like that. And I'm not going to even take up that argument. That's not what I'm here about today. Um but they're just kind of taken as the end all and be all. They're kind of like, oh, well, of course, right? You know, they, they're the rules that you've got to follow. But, you know, like, why? Why are why are you supposed to follow the Ten Commandments? Um, you know, then the answer comes back, you know, well, because they're the, the Ten Commandments, for Pete's sake, right? You know, you just do it. Um, you know, don't covet your neighbor's donkey, which, okay. If I ever get a neighbor that has a donkey, I'll make sure I don't covet my neighbor's donkey. Um, but we still have, we still understand that it's not a good idea to covet things, right? So um, this idea of, you know, like, well, there are the Ten Commandments, you just, just do it because. Well, the thing is that following the Decalogue, just for the sake of following the Decalogue, that's a fancy word that means Ten Commandments, um, just for the sake of that, and thinking that you'll be a good person, uh, just because you followed the Ten Commandments, um, well, it's foolish, and it takes you know the whole Decalogue out of out of context. It's not that it's a bad idea, you know. It's like it's it's a good idea. Like we we can all agree um, uh, that following the rules of the Ten Commandments is a generally a good idea. I mean, pretty much. I think if everybody tried to adhere to that, we'd probably live in a much better society. Um, you know, starting with the people who are supposed to be in charge. Just a suggestion. I know, crazy, right? Um, so, like, you know, it's it's they're good general rules, but they, um, here's the deal: the the Ten Commandments, the Decalogue, were given in um, the context of covenant, right? They were given in the context of Israel's covenant with God. So, what do, what do I mean by that? Well, God had delivered the people of Israel out of captivity because he loved them. And he loved them because he had already loved their fathers, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why he, you know, that's why he does this. He hears their cries because he had, he had loved those guys, you know, like they were his sons and he had made covenants with them and made promises to them. So in a real serious way, him delivering the people of Israel out of captivity in Egypt is him following through on the promises he made to guys who were already dead, right? Um, so making covenant with them was a proclamation of this love that he had towards the people of Israel. The Decalogue isn't just a list of, of commandments to keep for the sake of keeping them. Um, observing the Ten Commandments was supposed to be for Israel um, a way of keeping covenant, right? It was a way of keeping covenant with the God who had loved their fathers and now would love them too. That's part of what this is all about. That's why it's there. Keeping faith with him by keeping his commandments um, was the way that they could show their love for him by not doing the things that he found really disturbing and really hateful and really disgusting. That's why these things are in there. He's like, these are not good. These are not part of what it should mean to be, you know, a, the person I created you to be. And, and, uh, you know, these are not things I want to see. And if you love me, you won't do these things. You know, if you're going to, if you're going to follow the covenant and love me the way I have loved you, this is what you're going to do. So, um, this is what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to keep faith with him by keeping covenant, by keeping his commandments, um, to show, to show that they loved him too. That's why you, you know, you wouldn't go out of your way to do things, uh, to hurt somebody that you actually really love. I mean, you kind of accidentally do things like that. We all have our like neuroses and things like that, but you 
you know, if you're intentionally doing that, you really don't love the person. The unfortunate thing is, as today's other scripture, one of the other scriptures for today from Hebrews points out, uh, that they were never really good at showing the love. So let's all try to be better. If you're going to follow the Ten Commandments, do it for all the right reasons. Do it because you really love God, not because you're just trying to, like, act like a good person. I mean, that's better than nothing. But actually do it because you love God. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. Get out. Enjoy the day. Sun's back. We'll talk to you later. Stuart will be here with an actual DBR for you tomorrow. Boop.